Hello and welcome to TTV News. Some latest events in the province. Ladies and gentlemen, concluding the conference to promote economic diplomacy to serve the country's social economic development in 2024, taking place on April 2nd, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính requests the need to pay attention to big four focuses in the coming time. Specifically, foreign affairs programs at all levels must have specific content programs, plans, and products. Besides, to strengthen traditional role drivers, it is necessary to supplement and promote new role drivers, maximize the country's potential, outstanding opportunities, and competitive advantages, promote and make the most of CFTAs. At the same time, mobilize the resources of 6 million Vietnamese people abroad. The Prime Minister requested the need to actively and rightly convey messages to international partners about the spirit of prayer and listening of the party, state, business associations and businesses of our country with foreign partners. At the implementation of agreements committed and signed during the implementation of Directive No. 15 of the Secretariat and Resolution No. 21 of the Government, and must quantify the implementation contents at the same time propose competent authorities to resolve remaining problems. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính emphasized economic diplomacy in 2024 must have a breakthrough with the spirit of innovation in thinking, creativity in strategy, and unity in role awareness. Opportunities must be seen, obstacles must be resolved, solutions must be wrecking, and implementation must be rustic for sustainable effectiveness. At the preliminary conference to summarize the two years of implementing regulation number 1210, that's November 5, 2021, of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, taking place on the morning of April 3rd, Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, has of the National Assembly Delegation of Tainan Province, Pham Hung Thai, emphasized the participation of border guard station officials at the border districts and communal level party committees. E a correct and practical action, having the local party committee have many advantages in understanding the situation while performing political tasks related to the fight of border security protection. To effectively implement the policy of bringing border guard station officers to participate in the district and border communal level party committees with high efficiency in the coming time, Mr. Phạm Hùng Thái also requested that party committees, party organizations, agencies, and units continue to thoroughly cross and well implement resolution number 33, dated September 28, 2018, of the Bureau on the National Border Protection Strategy. Resolution number 16, dated October 10, 2017, of the Village Bureau on Social Economy Development of Land Border Communes, combined with strengthening and consolidating national defense, security, and foreign affairs. At the same time, Resolution number 16, dated October 10, 2017, of the Village Bureau on Social Economy Development of Land Border Communes, combined with strengthening and consolidating national defense, security, and foreign affairs. At the same time, it is recommended to study the structure of border gas station officers participating in the border district level party committee and at the same time participating in district level peers council delegates in the next term to better promote their participating role, plan to perform management tasks, protect sovereignty, territory, national border security, fight against ram, maintain political security, social order and safety in border areas. On April 3, the Academy of Politics reason to organize the final round of the book presentation contest with the team, The Book I Love for the Third Time 2024, presenting the book of General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng, Resolute Persistently Fight Against Corruption and Negativity, Contributing to Building Our Party and State Increasingly Clean and Strong, on the occasion of Vietnam Book and Reading Culture Day April 21. 
speaking at the opening of the contest, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Quốc Dũng, member of the Standing Committee of the Party Committee of Ho Chi Minh National Academy of Politics, Secretary of the Party Committee, Director of the Academy of Politics Reason 2, said that this year's contest was organized with the purpose of implementing a round of political and ideological activities about the content of the work resolutely and persistently fighting against corruption and negativity, contributing to building the party and state, increasingly pure and strong by General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng to our party members, officials, workers, and students, contributing to spreading the basic and core contents of the work and strengthening faith in the work of preventing and combating corruption and negativity and in the revolutionary cause under the leadership of our party. On the morning of April 3, the Provincial Business Council Automatic Supervision Team, led by Ms. Nguyễn Đại Thi, member of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, Standing Vice Chairman of the Provincial Business Council, continued to work with the Department of Planning and Investment and the Tax Department on Administrative Procedure Reform associated with digital transformation in the 2021-2023 period in the province. Reporting to the delegation, leaders of the Provincial Tax Department said that administrative reform work is still facing many difficulties due to frequent amendments and supplements to test policies and laws. Many contents are not specific and inconsistent with the actual situation, leading to many difficulties in getting taxpayers, applications and software that support tax declaration and payments still have errors, causing many difficulties for taxpayers. The coordination in handling administrative procedures related to many branches, levels, and between specialized agencies is not really smooth. The Department of Planning and Investment also encounter many difficulties. Currently, some legal regulations are no longer appropriate and have many interpretations. So, coordination, coordination, advice, and approval of projects are still difficult. The National Business Registration Portal System is regularly upgraded and maintained, so errors still occur in downloading and processing documents. The Provincial Tax Department and the Department of Planning and Investment have made many recommendations to the supervision team to improve the effectiveness of administrative reform in the coming time. On the morning of April 3rd, the Provincial Bureau's Council Automatic Supervision Delegation, led by Mr. Nguyễn Thanh Phong, Provincial Party Committee Member, Vice Chairman of the Provincial Bureau's Council, had a working session in Goyou District. At the meeting, the People's Committee of Goyou District stated that in 2023, the district was recognized by the Provincial Bureau's Committee for two initiatives in administrative reform, model of practical application of solutions and initiatives in implementing administrative reform tests in the 2024-2045 period, from general to specific, solution model to increase the rate of people submitting online applications. However, there are still some limitations that need to be overcome. Goyo District has also proposed a number of solutions to readily overcome this situation in the near future. An important information received from the Center for Disease Control of Tenen Province. In the province, there has just been a case of death due to rabies. The case of death is Mr. T.T.V., born in 1976, living in Yumjou Town, Yumjou District, Tenen Province. Through epidemiological investigation, about six months ago, around October 2023, the patient was bitten by a domestic dog between the thumb and index finger of the left hand, bleeding a little, then was dragooned with water and applied garlic. After that, the family gave the dog to an acquaintance. By March 23, 2024, the, pat the patient showed symptoms of fatigue and loss of appetite, and his family bought Western medicine to take at home, but due to fear of water, he could not drink it. On March 26, 2024, the symptoms of fatigue and softness of red increased, so he went for intravenous blood at the private clinic. Then returned home. By evening, the symptoms had not improved, so his family took the patient to Hong Hong General Hospital for emergency. Here, doctors received patients 
with symptoms of fatigue, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, fear of water, and tremors to diagnose rabies. However, at 10.15 p.m., the patient's family wrote a commitment to continue monitoring at home. The next day, at 10.35 a.m., March 27, 2024, the patient's family transferred the patient to Yumdou District Medical Center with symptoms, rosiness, softness of breath, increased phlegm, and pain in the hands and feet. Goose neck is stiff. Pupils are dilated. After consultation, the leadership of Yumdou District Medical Center recommended transferring the patient to a higher level, but the family asked to go home and the patient died at 12.57 a.m. later. The Provincial Center for Disease Control recommends that people who are stretched or bitten by dogs should get vaccinated against rabies. Take rabies prevention measures according to instructions from the Ministry of to avoid unfortunate consequences. Attending the ceremony to congratulate the leaders of Slavian Province Kingdom of Cambodia on the occasion of the traditional date 2024, there were some documents summon vice chairwoman of the Central Committee of the Cambodian People's Party, Supreme Advisor to the King, Kingdom of Cambodia. Mr. Men Vibron, Chairman of the Cambodian People's Party of Slavian Province, Mr. Jem Hatz, Chairman of Slavian Provincial Council, Mr. Prang Posa, Governor of the Administrative Board of Slavian Province. Speaking at the meeting, leaders of Jenin and Long An Province said that they will work with Slavian Province to continue effectively implementing the guidelines, policies, and comprehensive development cooperation agreements between the two governments and between the Ray Provinces of Jenin and Long An. Slavian has sought to achieve more and more practical results, contributing to strengthening and developing friendship and solidarity. On the occasion of the traditional National New Year of the Kingdom of Cambodia, leaders of Tenen and Long An provinces presented gifts and good New Year wishes to generous members of the Senate and National Assembly, leaders of the Central Government and Slavian Province Kingdom of Cambodia. The Provincial Appeals Council's thematic supervision team, led by Mr. Nguyen Thanh Phong, Vice Chairman of the Provincial Appeals Council, survey and work in Yumchou District on the afternoon of April 2. The delegation provided a report on the results of implementing administrative reform and digital transformation of the district in the period of 2021-2023. Thereby, the delegation recognized efforts in administrative reform and digital transformation from Yumchou District. However, there are still some shortcomings and limitations such as the proportion of people using online public services is still low, equipment serving administrative reform and digital transformation does not meet requirements, information technology infrastructure is not synchronized, internet connection is still slow, Faced with shortcomings and limitations, leaders of Yumenjo District have proposed a number of solutions to improve the effectiveness of administrative reform and better serve the needs of the people. Before that, the delegation visited the People's Committee of Suida Kamil. The audience determines administrative reforms as one of the major policies and key tasks over the past year, the custom sector has been ringing practical results, minimizing custom clearance time for goods, creating favorable conditions for people and businesses, not have to go directly to the custom office, contributing to reducing time and cost for businesses, and got rid consensus from the business community. As one of the custom units outside the border gate, with a large number of doses for import and export procedures and a state budget revenue of about 1,100 billion Vietnam dong per year, Trang Bang Industrial Park Custom Ranch must daily carry out custom procedures for many businesses in Trang Bang Industrial Park, Linh Trung Green Export Processing and Industrial Park, Phuc Trong Industrial Park and Tan Tan Gong Industrial Park. Custom procedures at the present time have been much improved compared to reverse time, following the trend of openness, creating more favorable conditions for businesses, but still ensuring compliance with the provisions of Vietnamese law, helping to improve goods clearance time for businesses, ensuring delivery and receipts for goods on schedule without affecting the company's production and business process.
In recent years, thanks to administrative reform using the online public service system applied to 100% of businesses carrying out procedures. In addition to active support for businesses, civil servants working at the custom branch Changbang Industrial Park also reduced the workload, increasing the number of custom clearance documents significantly. As before, there were no administrative procedures to be public and transparent to post on the national portal for businesses. Exploiting it will be slow. Businesses have to go to the agency to discuss. But now on there, businesses will see everything. All problems and amendments to declarations have been handled well by the public service. Tenant custom implements the online public service system well, aiming to provide good public services, serve the business community, and ensure security, safety, and smooth operations. Besides, it's been the connection of support software and state budget collection with the state's treasury, custom, commercial banks, electronic tax payments through banks, cardinal collection, and custom clearance 24 hours per 7 day, shortening custom clearance time for goods. Tenant Custom strives to complete the construction of Smart Custom by 2030 with all professional activities deployed fully automatically on the system, contributing to making Vietnam Custom become a modern custom organization according to international trends and standards. Ladies and gentlemen, according to forecasts of the authorities, the hot weather in Tinan will last until May. To ensure the safety of electricity supplies for this year's rice season, the electricity industry has had specific plans and solutions. The rice season of 2024 in Tinan appears quite early from the end of January 2024 and is likely to end late until May 2024 with prolonged hot weather and increased load, causing difficulties in transportation of power rate. Tenant Electricity Company has fully inspected the electrical system under the management and operation from January 10, 2024 to January 20, 2024, including 337 kilometers of 110 kilowatt power grid, 13 transformer stations, nearly 3,000 kilometers of medium voltage grid, over 5,000 kilometers of low voltage power grid, and thousands of transformer stations in the area. Through the general inspection, the power rate defects were discovered and immediately resolved to ensure safe and uninterrupted operation of the power rate. The company has fully repaired spare materials and equipment, including transformers, switch gear, ceramic insulators, to ensure quick handling of incidents, if any, minimizing the time of power supply segments. Dropping in the work to save electricity is also a solution promoted by the electricity industry to save costs for customers while contributing to ensuring safe electricity use. The electricity industry has also recommended to people through propaganda, advocacy, and sending notifications such as regularly checking electrical systems such as switches, sockets, terminal boards, and connections to roughly detect problems to promptly repair and replace. At the same time, it is necessary to prevent possible situations. Currently on e-commerce platforms, there are many types of electrical equipment of unknown origin so The electricity industry also recommends that people do not use electrical waste, electrical equipment, and electrical appliances of poor quality and unknown origin because these electrical equipment are susceptible to short circuits and electrical leakage into the casing, causing fatal electric shock. People need to be very careful to ensure safe use of electricity, especially during the peak of the rice season this year. This year, more in border program of Tenen Youth will take life from March 1st to March 31st, 2024, focusing on 20 border commute in five districts and towns of the province, especially the communes of the province's difficult border areas. The program includes many social security activities, propaganda, education, border lifestyle, and youth work. A typical example is the projects of youth installing solar light buff on poorly lit road in difficult commutes and border areas. As a coordinating unit with the Provincial Youth Union, the Vietnam Youth Union Committee of Tenen Ravens organized the inauguration of youth project Borderlight, including 40 solar buffs stretching along the borderline. 
for a kilometer long located in Tang Hak Kamil, Tang Chau District. The provincial youth union and committees of Vietnam Youth Union of Dom Nai Province promised that in the coming time they will actually carry out many projects working toward the national border, especially bringing light to difficult countryside and border areas. It can be said that through this activity, we have tightened the solidarity between the youth of Tainan and Domnai provinces. We have organized many activities for the people living near the border. In particular, we are especially interested in the border lighting project together with the local authorities and to contribute to protecting the sovereignty and territory of the fatherland, as well as supporting disadvantaged people living in this border area. In addition, the Provincial Youth Union and Vietnam Youth Union of Dom Nai Ravens also awarded 50 gifts to the people, along with 50 team clothes and 800 notebooks for students with difficult circumstances, with a total value of 105 million Vietnamese dong. Even though the border mark program ended, the marks of tenant role active, volunteer, and aspirational youth will remain forever. That's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.